Hi everyone, this is Allison with Beards Bountiful Bunnies and welcome to the winter version of my YouTube channel. I know it has been a long time since I posted videos. Um, there has been major life changes since then. Sorry, the sun's in my eyes. Uh, we have made a cross country move from Florida to Montana and we now have beautiful negative two degree uh, temperatures. Um, we have property now and we have a lot of changes that are going to be coming um, and I thought maybe I'd take you on a tour of my new property and show you some upcoming things that I'm going to be doing with the rabbits. So we moved, um, like I said, from Florida and we had just under a half an acre and a little 800 square foot house. Here we have a little over a half, an acre and a half. Um, and we now have a, uh, it's, it is a manufactured home, but it's 1700 square foot manufactured home on top of a 1700 square foot open basement. So it's actually over 3,500 square feet of living and usable space. Um, we are so excited. So the previous owners, um, did leave a fifth wheel, but they actually ripped everything out and cut a hole in the back. That's where they stored their four wheelers. I think my husband's going to end up cutting everything off and just keeping the steel base and making a, a, a toy hauler trailer out of it. Uh, they did leave this uh, little shed here. My husband's storing uh, motorcycles and stuff in it. So I didn't have any space really for rabbits. There was no other outbuildings. So my rabbits for now have been down in the basement. Um, I did just build this uh, carport thing here. I'll explain that here in a bit that I'm going to put rabbits in. But this is uh, my beautiful new house. It's going to be painted blue. It just has a coat of primer on it, but then it started to snow. We weren't able to finish painting. So I'm excited to get it the bright blue that I actually am wanting it to be. Um, lots of firewood, even though we don't really have a workable wood stove. Everything's run by furnace. I'll uh, walk you around the backpack here and show you back pasture. So we do have pasture space back here, which is really nice because this next coming year, I want to enclose it all, and I'm really wanting to raise up a couple cows, maybe a few pigs, um, just for meat purposes. So, two sides of it are already fenced, but it's actually our neighbor's fencing, so we're gonna actually gonna have to build our own. So this, it goes all the way out where that little tree right there is, that's the back fence. And then our property cuts right in front of that tree line, that's the neighbor's barn. And then our property line will cut through there. Thank goodness it already had a fencing area for our dogs. Um, so it's, whew, it's really hard walking through the steep snow. It's in some areas it's, it's knee deep on me in some spots, but there's a snowstorm over there. Cause normally these are huge mountains here, but you can't see them cause of the snowstorm that's over there right now and the fog. Oh, we'll probably be getting more snow later. But yeah, this is my, I love fresh snow that hasn't been messed with. This is just wind drifts right here. Beautiful, beautiful. And like I said, the back of the house and our long driveway. So when we first uh, knew that we were going to be moving up here, we didn't have much time to plan as far as what we were going to do with the rabbits. And so the only option we had was sticking them down in my basement, which has been awful. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, there, I mean, just there wasn't much planning time to be able to plan. So they got stuck down there just sitting on uh, racks and the poop falls in the bucket on buckets underneath them. And it's really hard to keep it clean and empty down there. So I desperately needed them out of my house. But the thing is, is up here, they, we get we get hurricane force winds right here where we are in the valley. So I needed a space uh, and something that would maybe be able to survive it. So at the front of my house, the wind doesn't really hit because everything blows at the back of the house. So the only space I really had was this uh, little notch right here near my mudroom. So let me flip the camera around. Uh, so I decided to get a, a 10 by 15 shelter logic enclosed shelter because rabbits are fine in the winter and the cold as long as they stay dry and they stay out of the wind. <clears throat> so we ended up building one of these. They're not in here yet. Um, but my plan, obviously, it will be strapped down. It'll be weighted down. I just need it to survive this winter um, because next summer we will be building hopefully a barn um, for animals because I want to get, like I said, cows and pigs and whatnot. But for now, I just needed something quick 
that I could stick rabbits in. So I will be doing a uh, 12 foot long double stacked uh, cages. The top system will have a roll off, uh, just like slide off thing and everything will roll off to the back and I'll just be able to rake in here just like I did in Florida. Same exact setup, just double stacked. Um, so for now, I just need this to work. I have a big four foot long shop lights I'm going to hang in here for extra lighting for the rabbits. I have, um, because I can't run hoses because everything's frozen. I have a 55 gallon barrel. I'm going to keep a, uh, like a stock tank heater in to keep water thawed for me to be able to just use rubber bowls and keep the rabbits watered. So I'm hoping that this works out fine just for this winter. This is just a temporary get them out of my basement situation um, just to help them with becoming more adapted to the cold um, down in my basement. It stays in the, at the least, it maybe gets down into the 30s, which they've felt before down in Florida even. So um, shouldn't be too much of a shock for them to come up here and I'll keep their, their cages filled with straw and they'll, they'll be fine. Like I said, because it'll be completely dry in here and the wind will stay off of them. Even if I have to double up a few extra tarps on top of it. So that's my plan. We'll see how my plan works. <laughs> um, I'm hoping it works good. So I'll let you guys uh, in whenever I uh, get the racks built. And I'll show you what we do with that system. And I've got to learn myself. This is now going to be a new learning thing for me with rabbits. Because I've never dealt with all this weather with my rabbits myself. So you guys can learn <laughs> along with me as I learn what to do and what not to do in the cold. Um, I've already learned one lesson. I sadly lost uh, two litters of babies uh, this last week because mamas just didn't build nests. I don't. I mean, it's been almost two months now that they since the actual initial driving portion of it. So I was kind of hoping that the stress would be done, but they're both proven mamas. I sadly don't know why they lost or just didn't want to build nests this time around. So we'll try again until I perfect the system of Montana rabbit breeding and getting them situated to the cold and just learning everything myself. So I uh, hope you guys can learn some stuff with me. And especially when we finally get some new animals. Um, I have raised those animals before back when I was a teenager with my family, but never as an adult on my own. So it'll be fun learning new critters and, and a whole bunch of new stuff. And so I just hope you guys can uh, enjoy it with me. And I appreciate you guys watching my videos and hopefully I can start uploading more often now that I have more going on instead of them just sitting in my basement doing nothing because until I got some way to get them outside, I had nothing to do with them other than breeding a couple, just trying to get some babies going. So I uh, hope you guys have a great day and a happy new year and I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Thanks. Bye-bye.